Education is not merely learning, it's training your mind to think. Let's train our minds together. I am Divya, your math facilitator. Let's learn, solve and enjoy mathematics. Today we are going to deal with chapter 2 of class 6, whole numbers. This is part 2 of the introductory video. If you have not watched part 1, do go and watch and come back to this video so that you will have a continuation of this chapter. But when you closely observe these whole numbers, you get to know some properties which are very useful for us in our calculations and which helps us to understand the numbers even more better. So let us quickly get into this topic. So under properties, we are firstly going to learn about closure property. Now what is closure property? Suppose if A and B are whole numbers, okay? A and B belongs to whole numbers. We were representing whole numbers using W, capital W, yes? So A and B are two numbers which belongs to whole numbers. Then they sum nothing but A plus B equal to C. This C also should belong to whole numbers, yes? So let us take one example. Now, let A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 4, for example. So, what is A plus B? A plus B is nothing but 5 plus 4, which is 9. And you know that 9 also belongs to whole numbers. So, whole numbers are closed under addition. Now, let us check for multiplication. Now suppose A and B are two whole numbers, the same case. So for multiplication, what you should write? A into B, the multiplication, the product, which is C, should also belongs to whole numbers. Okay, let us check with an example. Let A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3. Okay, now A into B, what is A? It is 2 into what is 3? B, it is 3. So 2 into 3 is 6. You know that 6 belongs to whole numbers. So A into B equals C belongs to whole numbers which means closure property under multiplication is satisfied for whole numbers. Now let us check for subtraction also. So A minus B equal to some C. It should belong to whole numbers. Then this property is satisfied. Let us take an example. Let A is equal to say 5. B is equal to say 6. Okay. Now what is A minus B? A minus B is nothing but 5 minus 6. Clear? So 5 minus 6 is nothing but it is minus 1. The answer is minus 1. This concept of integers, these are called integers. This concept you will learn when you are learning integers chapter. Okay. For now you see that minus 1 does not belong to whole numbers. So this property of subtraction, closure property under subtraction, it is, it is not satisfied in whole numbers. Okay. So now let us move to division. So let us see if A divided B, which is C, is does it belong to whole numbers or not. So let A is equal to 4 and B is equal to say 7. Okay, now A divided by B, which is nothing but A by B. Okay, that means A is 4, B is 7. 4 by 7, which is, which does not belong to whole numbers. It is a rational number. Okay, so this property is also not satisfied. So, under closure property, only addition and multiplication are satisfied. Okay, so we say that whole numbers are closed. They are closed under which operations? Under addition and multiplication. Okay. So whole numbers are closed under addition and multiplication. Why not subtraction and division? You have seen the examples, right? Now the second property is commutative property. Now what is commutative property? Now suppose A and B are two whole numbers. Okay. A and B belongs to whole numbers. Now under addition, if A plus B is equal to B plus A, then we say that commutative property is satisfied. Okay. Let us take some example. So, let 
a is equal to 5, b is equal to 2. Okay. Now, what is a plus b? a plus b is nothing but 5 plus 2, which is 7. Yes. Now, let us see what is b plus a. b plus a is 2 plus 5. This is also 7. Yes. So, a plus b is equal to b plus a. So, we say that commutative property is satisfied under addition. Now, let us check for the next operation which is multiplication. Okay. So, here under multiplication you can say that a into b is equal to b into a. Okay. Let us take some example. Let a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3. Okay. a into b is nothing but 2 into 3 which is 6. Now, let us check what is b into a. b is 3 into 2 which is 6. So, a into b is equal to b into a which means that commutative property is satisfied under multiplication. Now, let us check for subtraction. Now, in subtraction, it should be a minus b is equal to b minus a. Do we get it? Let us check. So, take two numbers, let a equal to 5, b equal to 9. Okay. So, what is a minus b? a minus b is nothing but 5 minus 9. 5 minus 9 is minus 4. Okay. So, what is b minus a? b minus a is 9 minus 5, which is 9 minus 5 is 4. Okay. So, you can see that 4 is not equal to minus 4. So, a minus b is not equal to b minus a. Okay. Now, if you want to check for division, you can do the same. So, a divided by b should be equal to b divided by a. So, let us take example again. Let a equal to 2, b equal to 5. Okay. Now, a divided by b is nothing but 2 divided by 5. And b divided by a is nothing but 5 divided by 2. And you can see that 2 by 5 is not equal to 5 by 2. Their values are different. Here also their values are different. So, you can say that a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a. So, only addition and multiplication are satisfying. So, you can say that whole numbers are commutative under addition and multiplication. Now, the third property is associative property. Now, what is associative property? Here we take three whole numbers, okay? Let A, B, C belongs to whole numbers, okay? So, let us check for addition first. So, what is the property for addition? A plus B plus C should be equal to A plus B b plus c that means you add the three numbers in whichever order but the answer should be same okay let us take some example to check this property so let a is equal to 2 b is 1 and c is 5 okay so what is a plus b plus c so a is 2 plus b plus c Okay, the answer is 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 5 which is 8. Okay, let us check what is A plus B plus C. Here A is 2 plus B is 1 and C is 5. So 2 plus 1 plus 5 is 6. So 2 plus 6 is 8. So you can see that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. So which means Associative property is satisfied under addition. So, let us check for multiplication also. So, under multiplication, how do you write? Instead of plus, you replace plus with into. Nothing but multiplication. A into B into C should be equal to A into B into C. Okay. So, let us take it. Example, let A equal to 2, B equal to 3 and C equal to say 4. Okay, so A into B into C. So, A is 2 into B is 3 into C is 4. Okay, 2 3s are 6 into 4. So, 6 4s are 24. Now, let us check this side. A is 2 into B is 3 into C is 4. 
So 2 into 3 folds are 12. So 2 into 12 is 24. So you can find that a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. That means associative property is satisfied under multiplication also. So we can say that whole numbers are associative under addition and multiplication. So you can check for subtraction and division also but they don't satisfy like in the previous examples. So now the next property is distributive property of multiplication over addition. Okay. So here also we will take three numbers a, B, C, they have to belong to whole numbers, okay? Now the property is A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. Just observe that this A, as the name says, it is distributive property. So this A, which is in multiplication, it is distributed to B as well as it is distributed to C. So you can say this is A into B which we wrote first and in between there is a plus symbol addition so we wrote that again A into C. Clear? So A is distributed to B as well as A is distributed to C. Now let us see whether this property satisfies or not with an example. So let A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 1. So A into B plus C is equal to A is 2 into B is 3 and C is 1. Yes, so this is nothing but 2 into 3 plus 1 is 4. So 2 fours are 8. Now let us check this side, right hand side. What is A into B plus A into C? So here A is nothing but 2 into B is 3 plus what is A? It is 2 into C is 1. So 2 3s are 6 plus 2 1s are 2. So this is 8. You can see that the answers are same. So A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. So this is nothing but distributive property of multiplication over addition. That means we are multiplying over addition. And this A is distributed to both the numbers equally. So our next property is additive identity. Now what is additive identity? Now we say that 0 is the additive identity. Why? Now for example, you add 0 to any number, it gives you the same number. Now say 14 plus 0, what is the answer? It is nothing but 14. 29 plus 0 is again 29. That means you add 0 to any number, you get the same number yes so the property how can you write it you can say that let me write here you can say that a plus 0 is equal to a when a belongs to whole numbers and now let us see what is multiplicative identity here multiplicative identity is 1 okay why suppose you multiply 1 with any number for example 16 into 1 so you get 16 29 into 1 you get 29 520 into 1 you get 520 yes or no so 1 multiplied by any number gives you the same number so what is the property you can write it as a into 1 is equal to a so here 1 is called multiplicative identity and here 0 is called as additive identity as I told you that properties help us in our calculations. Yes, now that you have learnt all the properties now, it's your time to check your understanding with our DIY. So find 73 into 103. So here 103 you can split it as 100 plus 3 and which property do you use here? Let me give you a hint. So 73 into 103 I can split it as 100 plus 3. So by saying this, I think you got the property. So, do it yourself. This brings us to the end of this chapter. And I hope you like this video. If yes, give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have left the links in the description box below. You can give your valuable suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.